the whole goal of this short film is to help artists. That's why I made my own business. That's why I, I, I quit. That's why I'm working on this now is to try to make a template for other people to follow to make their own short films. Like if you've always wanted to make a short film, I'm trying to make this myself so that way I can prove it works and then I can give it out to the to the world, right? So that you, you can then do the same thing. Um, but uh, it's really hard to work on art in our modern world. Uh, it, you know, and, and I use art loosely. I just mean like creative stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. And it's hard to work on it because there's so much going on. And I've, I had somebody say this to me once, and it's really stuck in my head. I haven't been able to get rid of it. And they said, you know, um, screw your art. People are, are dying. And I was like, at first, that seems like a good line. It's like, yeah, we should be working, fixing the world's problems, right? You know what I mean? We should be fixing like you know, what's happening. Uh, but, um, you know, there's a, there's, I, I don't want to get into why that's wrong. That's a whole different topic that I want to make a video on is why you should focus on your art. But what I came to realize is like, well, you need people doing short-term things and you need people doing long-term things. So there's short-term art has almost no, no benefit. Like if I just finish a painting and it's just done, no one's better off for that. Right? It just sits there. It just exists. It's, it's, who cares? Um, and so in that sense, short term, like, yeah, like you should go fix something. You should go keep the lights on, run an electrical plant, do something like that. But what's interesting is you scale out on the time scale and you get to like 200 years and all we care about is art. Nobody cares about the mill, like, like, like the, the, you know, how we had a, a, something running, right? Like some, some political process or some, um, uh, some school like assembly or something like that, which in the short term is really important. It's really important to teach people. It's really important to keep the water running and the lights on. But if you zoom out a hundred years, 200 years, someone's like, Oh, like how many people lit lamps at night, right? How many people were lamp lighters and we should honor them and remember those lamp lighters. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about people doing the thing that kept everyone alive. What they care about is the art. What they care about 200 years later, we put it in, we put it in buildings away from society with guards around it to protect it. Right. So, and if you ask somebody like, you know, what, what they, their favorite things in life is like, what's your favorite thing? What do you like the most? Almost always it's some form of art, right? Mm -hmm. um, or at least beauty. Usually it's some form of beauty. It's like hiking and whatever. And if it's not that, then it's like movies well, and video games and books and, and history. I think I can make an argument here Yeah, with that. Cause it, going along with that, I think I can make an argument, which is that's because art is, and this goes right back to the thing of how I say, comic book characters are mythological greek you know gods modern mm -hmm. mythological gods um they are greater they're they're above you and greater than what you can do yourself um they have different consequences but they, they're still human mm -hmm. still act within that mm -hmm. um but they're still so that, that and that's what the greek that's really if you look at mythologies um outside of things like christianity this idea of like or even with christianity when you talk about you know the fact that god became man taking on flesh and all that mm -hmm. uh it, it's taking on the the scope of what it means to be a human or, or reflecting those same things and seeing it reflected back you know seeing mm -hmm. oh, you, you don't even have to say greek gods you could say demigods at that point too right. for superheroes but the key point is that um the first time anyone ever put on a pl like a play that that happened was in ancient greece in 534 bc and it was part of the festival of dionysus in athens and it was someone you know embodying a god as a character right it was a whole religious event if you talk if you talk you know you start reading uh the iliad it starts with an invocation right which for most people may not realize it now that is uh, i think a lot of people who go to church would recognize it that's basically an opening prayer Right. of the service that you're about to do so the story of the iliad was saying you know sing to me muse uh the rage of uh, achilles basically saying muse remind me what this is let us focus on and understand and learn right. from this i think that's what all stories are is it's it's a learning tool just like you would think um we, we ignore that in modern education of like oh no this right. is this is how people learned you put yourself in a situation or you heard about a situation, saw the consequences through this story, and there was truth in that. That truth applies even though it's a fictional event. And right. I 
that's where I think that it, it kind of falls apart, which is like, yes, the reason we care about it and we remember art so much is because it is, by its nature, trying to take something that's ethereal um, and mystical and, and put it into some sort of physical form that we can then use, watch, and, and translate through it. Yeah, um, that's that's interesting point, too. So I think, I think how that ties into what I was saying, which is like, why make art? Right. When mm -hmm. when there's so many more practical, tangible problems in the world. Um, and the answer is like those things need to be fixed, too. Right. There's there's multiple things that need to be fixed. But but the art side of things, you know, and this isn't to like, obviously, there's there's there's, you know, I don't want to blow smoke up my own ass here. Right. And be like, <laughs> oh, my art's so important. And art's <laughs> so cool. Like, I also do a lot. Of not our things, art right? yeah like i also do a lot of things like i i think it's really important to donate to charity and things like that and, and, and it's something i do but um as far as your focus like is your singular focus so you're trying to put into the world um you know that's again the time frame thing right when you're saying like mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're codifying right um lessons and things that are really hard to teach like it's it's kind of really complicated to try to teach um, a child, right? Like when it's okay to use anger and violence and when it's not, and when is it okay to forgive someone or when should you reach out and, and, you know, take at the hand of your enemy and when shouldn't you? And, you know, there's no hard and fast rule for that. You don't have a hard and fast rule for, you know, when something's virtuous or when it isn't virtuous. And it's a very complex thing that people have spent, you know, all of millennia trying to define what is or isn't moral or whatever. And so you can take something like that and you can codify it into a story and then you can hand someone the story and then they can go, Oh, cool. I, that's, that gives me a ton of information and sort of in the, in the way of like a picture, you know, says a thousand words, like a story is, is a picture you're imagining back in the day. And now, now it's on a screen. Up's a good example of like, it's a really complicated thing to try to like explain to, to a young person, like, you know, yeah, your wife died or you're like the thing that you thought you were going to do, the venture you thought your life was going to be doesn't happen the way you want it to happen. And so you should, you should not give up on adventuring, but you're going to have to do it a different way than you thought you were going to do it. And you can find, and I think one of the cool things about it is you can find that adventure through the next generation. So there's a lot of things that you're, as an older person, and this is why, back to like, you know, my statement I made earlier, it's like, have kids so they can play with Legos, you know, um, is you can, you can relive, you kind of get a second life, you know, by living oh, yeah. it through um, someone. And even if you didn't have a kid, like, 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 what's interesting is, you know, there's a parallel and up between the adventure he thought he was going to have traveling and the adventure that he thought they were going to have having a child. And neither of those happened, right? Both were taken away from him. They never had a kid and they never traveled. And they took the traveling one because they couldn't have a kid. And then by opening himself up to, I forget the kid's name, Neil or whatever, the kid, he's able to get both. He gets the adventure that he never got to go on and he gets to have kind of this a kid, right? That he's helping raise um, and seeing grow up. And it's like, just because the adventure doesn't look the way you thought it was going to look doesn't mean you can't still do it. Now... That's a really complex thing to try to explain to someone that's young, right? And like, and that's a good way of codifying it, right? And now it's now it's locked, and now that's going to go out through history. And so, you know, if, if you're someone making art, if you're someone that's that's wanting to make something creative, and in, guess what? By the way, you can't start with that. You're not going to start. You're going to start like I'm starting, no. which is like there's a monster and there's a, a a person in a cool suit and they're killing the monster, and that's like a very basic story of humanity right like like there's good there's evil there's there's bad things we're trying to survive um things you you liked are corrupted you know that were once good and and you know decay that might be a hint at the title oh um, god uh, so you know that's that's part of life and you know you're gonna have to deal with that but that you know you're gonna build up to something to something greater um so i think that pretty Hopefully. much pretty much brings it full circle. I don't want to go too far off on too many more tangents, but yeah, make art guys, if you feel called to it. And then what we're going to do here is give you the tools to do that. The whole point of this is building up the structure, testing it out. Can it be done? And uh, if it can be done, how can it be done? So you don't have to make all the mistakes we made. You don't have to cut off the legs of your characters and you don't have to spend three years working on it because we've already done it. And now we're like, okay, here's where you don't do that. And here's where you do this other thing. 